Welcome to this video explaining how to get started with the Motion and Environmental Sensors STM32 Nucleo Expansion Board. This board is part of the STM32 Open Development Environment, a fast and affordable way to prototype and develop innovative devices and applications with state-of-the-art ST components. Information on how to obtain the board can be found on st.com slash xnucleo under the reference xnucleo IKS01A1. The package includes the board itself and an insert card that provides a first level of information on the pinout and the main features. The board is built around four main sensor components, a 3D MEMS magnetometer, an inertial module composed of a 3D MEMS accelerometer combined with a 3D MEMS gyroscope, a MEMS pressure sensor, and a relative humidity and temperature sensor. The board is equipped with an Arduino Uno R3 connector, allowing it to be plugged into an STM32 Nucleo development board. A DIL24 pin socket is available to add additional MEMS and other sensors, such as the UV index sensor. The board comes with a free development firmware library and code examples for all the sensors, compatible with STM32 Cube firmware. To start building your prototype, plug the STM32 Nucleo expansion board onto an STM32 Nucleo development board. The list of compatible boards can be found on st.com. Next, Connect the STM32 Nucleo development board to a PC using a mini USB cable. The board is automatically detected and seen as a disk drive. Visit www.st.com and search for the keyword XNucleo IKS01A1. Click on the main part number link. Then, go to the Tools and Software section and click on the Xcube link. Finally, go to the end of the page and click on the Download button in the Get Software section. When downloaded, just unzip the file in the folder you want. In the software package, you will find directories with all the required material. Now, let's try a sample application that allows you to trace the data coming from the sensors. The firmware to be installed is called Datalog and can be found in the example folder of the projects directory as shown here. Select the STM32 Nucleo development board you are using and drag and drop the binary file onto the Nucleo disk drive. To display the data, a PC utility is provided under the Utilities folder. Launch the file called Sensor Datalog. Check the Plot checkbox at the top of the user interface to enable the visualization. On the left pane, choose the time interval for sensor data reception and which sensor data to display. Then click on the Start button to initiate the data logging. You can also save the sensor's data log into a file for further analysis. Discover more features and software add-ons at st.com slash open software. Open.mems is a catalog of free and easy-to-use software packages for the development of sensor applications. It includes Motion FX, a sensor fusion library, and Motion AR for activity recognition applications. Further libraries are under development, such as a carry position and gesture recognition algorithm. Blue Microsystem is a full-featured software development framework that streams real-time data from motion and environmental sensors to a smartphone using Bluetooth Low Energy. A comprehensive set of documentation for the STM32 Nucleo Expansion Board, including a user manual, application notes, quick start guide, and data sheet, is also available. Visit st.com slash stm32ode.